and as usual something went wrong with Brock. Yeah, something caused my wireless to go off. Anyway, we were looking at this guy. My priorities are frequently transmitted in bathrooms and modern medic medication is effective. Unlike earlier times when it had to be dug out painfully with a screwdriver, the patient is seeking treatment. We'll need a pharmacy in order to, proceed to, to treat them. That will cost 7,600. So we'll get them to wait while we build a pharmacy and hire a nurse. So I'm just going to build it right here. Put the door next to it. So this is the big drug mixing machine. Take a couple of windows in. Put a bin in there for them to put all bottles and stuff in. That'll do for now. No luck, Steve swallowed me. Hi, Steve. So we have pharmacy. Time for a nurse. Nurses do we have? So this person's quite qual quite well qualified. So stamina training. We've got in a pharmacy. They work quickly and they're good at treatment. So, thinks their life is a rom com, so I'm constantly falling in air to look. That means they'll get depressed often, they'll need a lot of breaks and things like that. Literally, uh, they're a natural mentor and they don't have an internet presence. No Facebook, no healthcare, no nothing. And then we've got this person who has no qualifications whatsoever. High energy. Class clown and can't even. I think I'm gonna go with this guy, even though he's a bit rocky. You could be our nurse, and what costume do you want to nurse? Yeah, let's go with Mike Myers, shall we? Some groovy nurses. Finley Phantom. What's the matter? Afraid? Now let's check this guy. He's in a labor if he's gonna die. Hi Bart! Currently trying to cure our first patient. And he lived. Patient cured. Well done, we've cured our first patient. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation has improved, which will attract more patients. When a deck to our nurse treats a patient, their ability will influence the chance of success. Some illnesses are tougher than others. Continue diagnosing and treating patients to keep the money coming in so we can expand our So standard. Cure people, earn more money, charge them out the arse, build a better hospital. Yeah, this person does. And now we've got some machinery, she'll think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use, and we'll need repairing from time to time. If a machine falls into disrepair, it could be a fire hazard. The fires are generally considered a bad for business. Hire a janitor to maintain machines while you're at it. Make sure we've got some fire extinguishers nearby. Better safe than sorry, right? So let's have a look at Janitors. I do love the animations and the machines and stuff in this game as well. Those little mixing machines. Oops, didn't mean to do that. When you feel cold, it's going through two point county tonight. No, it's me from the Bogeyman. And cured. We need a janitor, let's have a look. So, a couple of these janitors. I have a very important skill here, Ghostbusters. So, if you do happen to kill a patient, sometimes they will come back and haunt the hospital, and they'll be wandering around as a ghost, and they'll scare your doctors, they'll scare your other people, 
Well, these janitors can catch them. So I'm going to get one of these two because there's going to be deaths at some point. So what do we want? But I find listening to my own Jamie Lynn Mojar. Green I fingers, thick through her alarm clock, in her arm com. Compliments sound thing, fake. So that is our indicator that some of this is lies. No and they're not going to be as good as I think they are. So we got Agatha Juggle. Unmotivated, unhygienic, funny, and owns a crossbow. Yeah, I don't think we want her either. If we're going to have somebody cleaning, we don't want somebody unhygienic. And then we have Jacinta Mackinbosh. Likes to argue and has always forgotten her password. Um, that's do for now. I work with plenty of people who forget their passwords. They're still decent at their job, they're just rubbish at passwords. Let's go for. What we got? Let's go for wizard. Have a wizard janitor. Like these Halloween costumes and stuff are pretty cool. Well, what's our objective now? We've got a janitor. Oh, yeah, we need to place two fire extinguishers. We'll have one in the, the room with the machine that can explode. And then we'll have, say, one near the entrance for like fire safety stuff. So, janitors will be called to repair a machine when its maintenance level falls below 50%. You can also request a janitor repair it immediately. So you can just click on the machines and say, oh, you fix this. Keeping people happy. It's important to keep your staff and patients happy. To ensure the hospital runs smoothly. Patients will get bored, thirsty and hungry. Uh, make sure they have access to entertainment, food, drinks and comfy seats. And when they're able to go between appointments, if they become unhappy, they'll leave to go to another hospital. So yeah, you want to keep them happy so you can take all their money. And this is just telling us how to place items and retain them. So let's make some benches. We've got somewhere to sit while they're waiting. There we've got some benches. I've got a couple of DLCs, Steve. I've got the Yeti one and the Alien one, I think. But I've not got round to them yet. This is like a fresh game. Um, what else should we have? Cake sale. I need somebody to staff that. Hat stand. Uh, so it says we need a leaflet stand, so we'll put them over here where it's convenient. We need a drinks Looks machine like and a snack machine. The holistics company, known to some as um, Hemp, is in trouble again. Apparently Elixir, yeah, let's put their latest here. product, can, which you can jam these wherever you want. There's only certain things that need to be stuck to the walls and stuff. Pine so. scented prune juice. If well, I guess it should cure one ill at least. There we go. Drinks machine and a snack machine. I'm trying to move things around a bit. Just so it looks a bit more equal. Otherwise it'll annoy me because it's not centered properly. There we go, so we've unlocked a staff room. So I need to build a staff room now so we can chill out in here. Yeah, the DLCs look pretty cool. Like they add new diseases, new challenges and stuff. They end up with like extra cold hospitals. You get sabotage and stuff as well from what I've seen, but like I said, I've not actually got the DLC bits yet. Oh well, let's build a staff room for everybody to chill out in for a bit. Door, we get a couch or a sofa. Have a couple of sofas, shall we? Sit and chat for a bit. And a couple of lockers for them to store some stuff in. Here as well, just in case. 
Like, I usually do spend a lot longer building these rooms, making them pretty and stuff, because it makes the like the patients and the staff happier, and you do get some bonuses from it as well. So staff will head to a staff room when they're on break. They fill the room with interesting items to keep them fully refreshed before the break ends. Note: you can place a member of staff in the staff room to make them take a break, or in a workroom to make them work there. Pick them up, hover over them, dump them in there. I don't generally bother doing stuff like that, not unless somebody's working themselves for exhaustion and stuff. But you can set it up to make them take breaks at certain points. So, uh, Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for keeping people happy, but they can lead to littering if there's no bins. The while we're at it, staff room patients will get grumpy if they don't have access to toilets. You might want to invent invented some quality porcelain. Janitors will help maintain all of these, restocking vending machines, sweeping up letter, emptying bins, and unblocking toilets. A lot of fun for those janitors. So, put a bin down first. Well, put it right next to the snack machine, that makes sense. And time to build some toilets. Everybody gets a cubicle. You're listening to Harrison Wolf on sinks. Two Point Radio. I went to the Cirque de Parfait recently. I was impressed by how yeah. experimental the acts were until I realized it. it was facing the wrong way and just and looking at the tent wall. Staff promotion. Callie not wants a promotion from junior doctor to doctor. So it'll give them a training slot, but we can't do any training yet. But it will increase their movement, diagnosis, and treatment skills. And they'll get a pay rise with it. And we can bump that up if we want to to make them happier. But let's stick you in even. I type it in. No, it's just a slider. Got a 25k. Be happy with that. So we're hearing some reports of new illnesses in town. These might be hard to diagnose. If we need to build a new diagnosis room, if a GP is uncertain, we'll send the patient for further diagnosis. So we've now unlocked the general diagnosis room, which will help us work out what's wrong with people. And this is introducing the hospital level. So as you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues might start to get long. We may need to build more GP's offices and other rooms and hire more staff to deal with the extra patients. The lookout for queue warnings above rooms. You can also hover over a room to highlight people queuing for that room. But I'll show you that now. If I highlight the door, there'll be those two people in queue for it. This one, only got that person. But, yeah, doctor's off. Having his break at the moment, so they'll have to wait for a bit. And they want us to get to level three and cure two patients. These objectives as well aren't retroactive. So the, if it's a level one, it, it is. But if they want you to cure patients or anything, it starts for fresh from there, usually. Build diagnosis rule. I think you need to be three by three. Put a door there. There's the little I'm not sure what that's called, diagnostics machine. And the exam table. Pick a couple of windows in so everybody can watch you getting tested. Iron cabinet. And a plant. And because there's a machine in here, we'll stick a fire extinguisher in as well just in case. But it almost never gets that far. Now we've got a diagnostics room and the hospital level is increasing. So, 
get the hospital to level three. We all have our differences, have don't patients. we? Morning people. Night owls. Follow this person. Noon bandits. And treatment in progress. We come in all manner of wonderful flavors. But gubbins. Gubbins come in just one. Cheesy gubbins. There are some things that we can all agree on. More two point. More like I said, I do love these machines. This like is the animations are radio. brilliant. Hey, two people cured. Ten people in total. So yeah, every time we cure somebody, it increases our reputation, which means we'll get even more patients. And we'll unlock the ward. There's a peculiar new illness in town. Lightheadedness. We're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this, so we're going to have to expand the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We might need a GP's office and more staff to keep on top of things. And we've also unlocked the ward, so I'm going to build a ward first. So, wards are pretty cool because you can have multiple people in the house. We need a desk and a nurse to the attack. Changing room. Put on there. Beds. So, let's see what beds we can have in here. Two. Three beds. And windows, because everybody else has been stared at while they're getting fixed. Put a couple of lockers in for the patient stuff. And a filing cabinet for the records. The bin in to keep it tidy. Let's put a couple of plants in to make it pretty as well. We have a ward. So we're going to need some more nurses and stuff now. So wards can be used for diagnosis and for treatment. Because there's a few rooms that you can do that in the game, but the ward is, is probably the most used one. Like, the ward gets used constantly for all sorts. So a nurse is required to admit each patient, look after them and discharge them when they're ready to leave. Add multiple beds to deal with more than one patient at a time. You can also adjust the number of nurses that work there in room settings. So it's useful if you have a lot of patients. So yeah, if you've got a lot of people that need cycling through, you can assign a second nurse to work there. So our doctors have discovered a new illness is bed face. It's quite an alarming ton contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. Send the patient for treatment the ward. So what I need to do, hire a new nurse for this ward, shall we? And this person has the ward skill, which is handy. Oh, 20% diagnosis and treatments in the ward and in the structure ward. Stamina. But she makes people feel sick. Oh, we might skip her. Cheese for brains. But that's just learning speed and we're not really teaching them anything at the moment. And she's funny. My therapist and says I to relax more. Find it hard good at treatment. If you have any suggestions, please send them in. I think I'm going to go keep the post on how my search goes. Anything is better than my last hobby. Collecting uh, traffic cones. We'll make her a werewolf, shall we? There we go. Werewolf in the ward. So we've got our second nurse. We need another doctor and another GP office. So we build another GP office here. Have like a little corner area. Door. What we can do. Probably that. Yeah, stop editing the room. One thing that Two Point introduced, which wasn't in the previous games. Copy. Paste. If you want to be really lazy. There we go. GP's office. So stick a couple more benches down. We've got somewhere to wait. So 
Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognise the achievements of every hospital in the county. Yeah, that, ho that copy paste is brilliant. Like, if you just want to standardise a lot of rooms, you can just grab it, copy, paste, and spam it all over. Like, in later levels and stuff, you'll end up with, like, sometimes five or six GP offices, so it's handy just being able to pick them up and slam extra ones down when you need them. So, hospital star rating. Two Point Health Ministry is keen to recognise the achievements of every hospital in the county. If we can build a hospital that satisfies the needs of the local area, the hospital will be awarded with an official star rating. This will be great for our organisation. Not only does each star come with associated rewards, it will allow us to establish new hospitals around the county, continue expanding the hospital to acquire a one star rating. So we're trying to get the rating of the hospital up. So what message have we got here? Oh yeah, so by completing objectives, we get kudosh. Kudos you can use to unlock extra items and stuff. But, so, let's have a look at the items we've got here. So here's the, the stuff we've already got unlocked. Coin drop, photo, and then it's here. 50 kudosh, we can get different kinds of benches. More food and drink machines, bins, incinerator. Hand sanitizer. They actually expanded this list a fair bit since I last played. Posters, painting. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for now. <laughs> Notice boards, drawings, clocks, bullets. I think I'm gonna save up for the hand sanitizer first. Well, 150. You shouldn't take too long. We need to hire a second doctor. Doctors, we have. You're quite good at treatment. We have here quite a decent GP as well. Tires easily expiring. Thinks their life is a rom com and is fond of wooden floors. So the tiring one isn't too bad, it just means they'll take breaks more often. Shall make you forty fifth caller today will win tickets to the rock doctor, festival taking place next month. I admire a station manager's optimism. Oh, you can win this GP's the most callers we've ever had in a day was. I do love that they've gone to the effort of putting in animations for number. the different costumes as well, giving them different looks and stuff. It's brilliant. We need to cure three people with lightheadedness. That means we need to make. Lightheadedness clinic, which is going to be fun because this is when the silly diseases and stuff start coming in, and some of these are brilliant. So we need a deluxe clinic for treatment. But we've got a couple of new illnesses first. Let's pause and see about those. So new illness discovered: bug warts. A rather disgusting condition caused by filthy toilets. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs. Carefully preferred in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. We'll send the patient for treatment in pharmacy. Because we're not currently employing any witches, unfortunately. So, our doctors have discovered a new almost misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to nihilistic semicolon. And we'll send them to treatment in the pharmacy. Hi, Breeder! And then we've got two people waiting for the deluxe clinic, so we'll get these two together, guys to wait while we build one. I'm going to go watch this get cured as well because, like I said, I do love the animations for this game and this is a pretty fun one. So, this is our deluxe clinic, fixing lightheadedness. There's a control, stick a couple of windows in. Machine in here, so we need a fire extinguisher. And we'll put a bin in here as well for waste. But do we have anybody with lightheadedness? There you are. Guy has lightheadedness, and they've changed it for the Halloween update. It's got a pumpkin bread. Let's see how this goes. A couple of benches outside there as well. So who's waiting? 
the Deluxe Clinic. Frobisher Pump. Let's watch this guy get cured. Here comes Dr. Penguin. Why is it whenever you clip your nails in front of a computer, one of the nails always flies into the crack in your keyboard? Does the keyboard feed on them? I don't know. No one knows. Oh. Hi, Stra. Yeah, I've got the day off work today, so I thought I'd stream for a bit. But yeah, that's how they cure lightheadedness. They literally just rip your head off and give you a replacement. But yeah, I've still got the Halloween update on at the moment, so you get all these pumpkins and ghosts and stuff. But yeah, there's his light head gone. Give him a scan. Give him a replacement one. And he's cured. One more person and we've got a one star hospital. Not had any deaths yet as well, which is pretty good. Usually I've killed somebody by now. Cured. We're a one-star hospital. So congratulations, your hospital has been awarded with a one-star rating. That's one out of a possible of three by the Two Point Health Ministry. I've retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Cheeky bastard. Continue to develop your enterprise in hog sport for further esteem and trinkets if you believe that you're capable of more. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organisation by opening a new hospital in lower bullets. The choice, as they say, is yours. Well, I'm going to see what the requirement is for two stars, which is get the hospital to level six, cure 25 patients and earn 200 grand. Level six shouldn't be too bad, we can just slap down some decorations and stuff to do that. I think we'll get it to two star and then start with the new hospital. Benches. Always need benches. Yearly review imminent. Yearly coming in as well. Let's see if we win any awards. So yeah, we get awards for doctor, nurse, janitor, assistant. And employer of the year, you get a reward for no death, you get a reward for most prestigious hospital, and you get a patient's choice award. Let's see what we get. Yeah, true. My day off, so I thought I'd stream for once, and I've been wanting to play two point for a bit anyway, so let's see if I've won any awards. First up we have Doctor of the Year for Dr. Kylie Nutt. And of course it's all about the money. We win an extra five grand for that. Next we have Nurse of the Year. Doctor. Yep, that's our nurse. We got Nurse of the Year, we're doing quite well. Janitor of the Year is Jumbo Mega Corp, one of our rivals got it. Let's try Assistant of the Year. Jungle Mega Corp, Rival got it again. Player of the Year is us. Yeah, another extra five grand for that. No deaths, we should get this one. We've not killed anybody yet. Most prestigious hospital, we're not likely to get this. 
Yep, Ford Foundation gets that. And the Patient's Choice Award, who the patients like most, is Bungalow Medicine. We won a few. We won half the awards, so that's a decent bit of cash and reputation. So, let's carry on making this place pretty, shall we? With a drinks and snack machine. Sure is a busy day, is it? Take a few more plants down. So it gives you this handy little glowing space as well. So you try and fill that out as much as you can, basically. The more filled out that is, the the nicer the hospital is supposed to look. And yeah, they're toilets, they're not supposed to look nice, but bugger it. So, stick a couple more leaflet stands down so people have got stuff to read. We afford any new stuff. We've got 190 kudos. Um, benches, bins, hand sanitizers, aircon, benches, bookcase. Bookcase will look good in these GPUs. comes with that. I'll just stick extra windows in everywhere because they'll love windows. There's nothing like a burp. And now burp soda comes in three new flavors with 23% more fizz. Open your mouth and have a burp. 24 hours a day. Yeah, it's made by a lot of the same people, Troy. Like, a lot of the staff who used to work for Bullfrog on Theme Hospital and Theme Park uh, actually helped in making this game, from what I've heard. So it has a lot of the same vibe, like, you get the same sort of thing with uh, the patients and the different diseases and stuff. And this first level is pretty much a carbon copy of the first level of Theme Hospital. Uh, the only really bits they've added to it is the the star ratings to try and make it better. So. so surprised we've not had any deaths yet as well. Yeah, all teams getting together to help, like, build the new game is pretty good. You get a lot of the same vibe of the games. Right, what else do we need? Let's check the room levels, because rooms have levels as well. So you're level 3. You're only level 2. Let's see if we can make this room a bit prettier. Stick a filing cabinet in. We've got an extinguisher for the plants. For the bin. We'll stick some bunting up. Level 
to Stell. What else can I do to make this room a bit prettier? Get a couple of posters up, they usually work. Yeah. Level 3. You're Still level 3. To get back to work. Diagnosis room is. Come on, show me the details. That's level 2. Can we add a few to make it prettier? Some more windows in. Uh, we've already got a filing cabinet. Not got a bin at the moment, just got a bin. Another plant in there. And a poster that I do. I could have been somewhere else, but it's not allowed me to do it. What have we got? Level 3. Let's go level 3, you're still level 3. Level 2. We basically just need to make the rest of the hospital prettier now. Um, let's just spam a lot of plants, shall we? Then I'll usually do it. On Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne bringing talk, music, and news to the whole of Two Point County. And if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world class DJ. Coming up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy! Yeah, the adverts of this game are brilliant as well. Like they add more in as you go along, and some of them are related to a lot of stuff you're doing in the game. The different hospitals in the area and stuff like that, different diseases that pop up. Yeah, that DJ voice is brilliant. I do love it. I always leave those on. What have we got here? We've got an emergency. Outbreak of ward-related illness after the Two Point Squabbler released a feature on had advanced sleeping positions with incorrect diagrams. Led to a range of internal and external conditions as a group looking for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we can treat this group. Shall we have them sent here? So I'll cure five patients with bed face in the ward. Patients yeah, we can now do that. arriving for the ward. And we can even prioritise them because when they pop up on the queue, we can rearrange people in it. There's nobody else Nurse in the queue. Needed in general diagnosis. But I think we should get another nurse. Snoozing, sleepy. Mentor charming, can't tie a tie. Girl next door, litera. Looks like you're the wrong one. I think I'm gonna go for this person, even though they're snoozy. Like, we'll be alright. We're not too busy at the moment, so it's not gonna have that much of a problem. Your emergency patients get this little basically flashing light above them so you can tell that they're part of the emergency.
So what else do we need for this two star? This hospital does not offer monetary support. Yeah. We just need more money and more cures basically. <gasps> that was death. Just died. Now is he gonna ghost on us? Our first death. I knew it'd happen eventually. No ghost though, he's just gone. Now sad news, our first patient, death, patients can die if a treatment fails, or if they're waiting too long and their health deteriorates. Hospital reputation will suffer as a result. There's also a chance the patient will return to home hospital. If this happens, we'll need a janitor with a ghost capture qualification. Yeah. Sad day you know, first I've death. been humming that tune to myself all week, which is uncanny because I've never heard it before. Or have I? Oh well, no more ghosts catchy yet, music though. coming right up. So we don't seem to have anybody waiting for rooms at the moment. Let's start. In pharmacy. Slapping some more drinks machines and stuff down. <laughs> It'll make us a bit of extra cash as well. Thank machines. <laughs> you know, hospitals to level five. Wants a promotion, yeah, we'll go for it. Always like promoting people. New illness, head crabbedness discovered. Doctors discovered a new illness, head crabbedness. Sufferer's head has been seized by a rare form of parasitic crustacean. Fortunately, a treatment is available that wrenches the creature from the victim, leaving their head unhealth, uh, their head healthy and uninfested. Send the payment, patient for treatment in our deluxe clinic. Let's have a look. Oh, cool! It's one of the head crabs from Half Life. That's pretty awesome. I did not know that was in there. Doctor needed in GP's office. Yeah, this is officially Half Life 3 now. In fact, we need another janitor then. Now it's officially a half life thing. We have Gordon Freeman. And he's in disguise as well. Yeah, it's part of the Halloween update, Steve. So they've shuffled things around a bit and added a couple of other bits in. So we've got costumes for people as well. That's why I've got a wizard wandering around. and stuff that always helps. 
And the news today. Conditions at the Rotting Hill Hospital are getting worse every day. Apparently, patients are just as likely to die from sinkholes and crumbling ceilings as any diseases. At least that'll keep the queues down. And yeah, this announcer is brilliant. I love it. What have we got here? Special report. You've cured enough of the patient group. The self reputation has been sent to reward. So this was our uh, our emergency. We cured four out of five. And it's earned us ten grand. Bunch of reputations and kudos. So I think it's just because the last person wasn't cured in time. Seems we only seem to have had the one death so far. Our hospital's reputation is now great. This is going to attract even more patients and staff. What's the matter? Afraid? It's Halloween. It's only no one to be afraid. Yeah, it could be. I think Animal Magnetism is either the next level or the level after. I think we need an assistant for cake stall, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, the fauna are reminded not to disturb the flora. Yeah, you go. <laughs> you come over the cake stall. I'll give you the horse costume for the hell of it. Sounds taller on the form. We'll make you. You can be our Viking. Smashing day for a down. bit of gardening. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? Digging up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oh, I can almost smell it now. No, oh, wait, the sewage pipes burst again. <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. up a bit. I'm trying to think what else I can do to increase the hospital level now. Other than just spam more items.
Oh, another death. Where is it? Me in the ward. Kate Goop is dead. Oh, we got a ghost. <gasps> Our first ghost. Yeah, you can get from most. So, when a patient dies, sometimes a part of them remains. The most terrifying part, sadly. This can be quite upsetting for those of us still clinging on to life. Not only that, but ghosts are messy blighters, leaving a trail of ectoplasm. They also have a habit of dematerializing and popping up elsewhere. Who should we call? A janitor with a ghost capture qualification, of course. They're fully trained with the latest auto psychic ghost suction technology. In future, we might even be able to harvest spiritual matter for use by our research team. And yeah, haunting hospital will be pretty bad. And we've got a health inspector coming as well. So, Henry Jobsworth, the cunt county's foremost health and safety inspector has informed us that he'll be visiting us for an inspection soon. Mr Jobsworth goes on to add that he intends to visit the oily cormorant while he's in Oxport, home to, he says, the finest crisp selection in the county. That's chips for you Americans in the chat. He'll be arriving soon. A good report would help our reputation. I'll impress the VIP. But see what happens with this ghost because I know we've got at least one janitor who can deal with them but at the moment it'll just wander around staring at people it's great when you get a ghost in a busy hospital as well because it, it just causes absolute panic everywhere Yeah, it's starting to scare people already. Where's our janitor going? Who can deal with them? Staff. Oh, I didn't hire a janitor that could deal with them. That would explain it. There we go. Get him. Doctor required in GP's office. This person should go after the ghost now. And ghost busted. And you could be a fish. We've got another emergency for the ward. Kicked out of Jumball Hospital for questioning treatment methods and are now looking for further treatment. We'll be rewarded if we can treat this group of patients should we have them sent here. Cure five patients with bed face. Patients now arriving for the ward. Well, what I'll do is I'll try and shift all these guys to the top of the queue as well. If you'd like to see some frogs, there's no better place than Pebbly Frog Sanctuary. A few different types of frog are only a plane or boat journey away. Let's go! So hop on over for a riveting day at Pebbly Frog Sanctuary. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
I used to love these coin drop things when I was a kid. Just to annoy the crap out of my mum and dad constantly asking for coins to put in them. See what awards we get this year. We got Doctor of the Year, Nurse of the Year, Employer of the Year, and the most prestigious. Lost that one more, didn't we? VIP, 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 VIP. Priority as well. Maintenance announcement. Plants need water. Inspector has been sent us a report from his recent visit, but it's 30 pages long, so we haven't read it. But the conclusion reads, one of our county's better medical destinations, destined to be a favourite of the sickly enthusiast in the know. Well done. So yeah, we got a decent rep and stuff for having a nice hospital. Can we get any other fancy items? I went to a Holistics Nature Commune last week to see what they could do about my gravy allergy. They recommended a long stay at their spa and a bottle of rosemary extract. It cost me a month's wages, but I'm finally starting to feel the effects. Still can't eat gravy though. <laughs> Hello again, tiny humans of Two Point County. It's me, the Bogeyman. Let me tell you a tale about the wolves of the night. Hold on tight, you're in for a fright. <laughs> Put some gnomes down. These guys are creepy as fuck. But they will make the hospital quite look pretty. Why do you not want to place? There. And I've just thought of a really easy way to get us another level easy enough. Let's stick in. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. I 
should have bought this alley up here. We have five patients with bed face, we got four out of five. We did alright. Headlines, lottery winner Arthur Compass has announced winning the jackpot hasn't changed him one bit. He made this announcement floating over Krogenbusch in his new gold-plated hovercraft, just like he's always done. Gold-plated hovercraft sounds like a great idea. I'm also well aware that this place is a mess at the moment. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a two-star rating by the Two Point Health Ministry. If you proceed at your current place, you'll be able to, you will have achieved everything you can in your finding the establishment. Soon enough, I can send your confidence inflating. Careful that you don't build yourself up for a greater fall. So, that's two done.
Megan Pass has sent well, in a I very thorough quote I'm make a start to today's the second nice article. words of the day. Rise and shine, everyone. And if you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning, watch out for the gathering of druids down at Grogben's Ring. In a total coincidence, the town will also be host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. So, we have our second hospital unlocked. I will go back and do three star on the first hospital at some point, but I'll probably do it off stream. So, lower bullocks. Expand the organisation by establishing a second hospital. But, we've got our career milestones, our career goals. Give us some extra kudos for stuff. More decorations and things for rooms. All in the way. So let's have a look. Welcome to Lower Bullocks. It's a lovely little village with a big problem, a significant population of the proportion. So sorry, a significant proportion of the population believe themselves to be rock stars. There's only one thing that can cure, cure this, psychiatry. Only doctors with a psychiatry qualification will be able to diagnose and treat people in the psychiatry room. We've managed to find one, but you should keep your eyes peeled for job applications with psychiatry and other useful qualifications. Now, we already have an assistant. Sue Diamond. And Sue could be a Spice Girl. For our psychiatrist. What better to make the psychiatrist treating rock stars than a disco star? And we'll have Garth Sparrow can be a werewolf, shall we? A werewolf janitor. No, we need all the regular stuff. We got a psychiatry. Oh, this is a GP room. We actually need to build a psychiatry. So. Contacted by Bungle Technologies, who runs various research hospitals across the county. They have an interesting proposition for us. Their psychiatry license was recently revoked due to an incident with... Well, it's best not to get into it. They want to send us psychiatry patients and in exchange will allow us to buy some of their latest technology. Until our organisation acquires a research license, we'll need all the technology we can get our hands on. So these guys are going to send us their psychiatry patients in exchange for giving us new tech. And here he is, Freddie Mercury himself. Jasmine Odyssey is back, and there's no getting so, rid of her. The hit album, Salivation, new illness, mock star discovered. Like, oh no, Our doctors again. discovered a new illness, oh, no. mock star. Patients not believe again. themselves to be one of the greatest rock stars the world has ever seen. But are sadly and gaga. Ain't no feeling like we'll send the patient for a treatment in our psychiatry. I love that walk as well. Stream Jasmine Odyssey today on Bungle Music. Little strut across the room. Look, there's another one. Number two, three. Hi, man. We're currently trying to cure somebody who thinks they're Freddie Mercury.
Looks like he's cured. Winner. Right, let's get building some of the other important rooms while we've got a chance. So, I need a pharmacy. Pharmacy, we need to hire a nurse. Alright, there's plenty more Freddies around. And we've got another two just there. <laughs> so who do we want for our pharma pharmacy? Don't we have inspiring, cheese for brains, hungry and fell off grapple falls. So they inspire other people, they have cheese for brains. So you get angry when they're hungry, or they fell off a waterfall, you'll do. I know exactly what to call this person. There. I know it can be our first nurse. costume to wear as well. There you go, you can have the penguin costume. You know what the penguin mark. We've got a pharmacy. More diagnostic rooms, so you're listening to Night Fit a general diagnosis in. On two point radio. Welcome back to your favourite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little lives. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. And yeah, you do get new radio announcers for each area as well. So now we've got Sir Nigel, who's a dick. Need another doctor. Now Steve, funny, opinionated about fonts. Class clown, natural mentor, has a bad feeling about this. Natural mental motivated tends to rate things 7 out of 10. Logo right, technology has given us an upgrade for our pharmacy and an upgrade for our general diagnosis. Upgrading machine on the janitor with mechanics. Select the machine, upgrade the option, qualify janitor upgrade. Give it a try and bungle a lot more for us. But first, give Arox a costume. Can have the flares. There. So now we need a janitor who can upgrade stuff. Is that the upgrade one? No, your main Short temper, but this one seems alright. It's an upgrade. We have general diagnosis room, we've got a psychiatry. Still need a ward. Take a ward in this corner. Hmm. 
How can we fit more beds in? is apparently going to open there another of its nature communes for sick people with more sense than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money. Yeah, I told you Nigel was a bit of a dick, you know. <laughs> Machines can be upgraded to make them more effective. An upgraded diagnosis machine gives a bigger boost to a patient's diagnosis. An upgraded treatment machine is more likely to successfully cure patients. Upgrades for each machine can be acquired through completing challenges and eventually through our own research too. One people unlocked a machine. We'll need a janitor trained in mechanics to upgrade each machine. To upgrade a machine, select it. Choose the upgrade option and qualified janitor to carry out the required work all the time. New illness, verbal diarrhea discovered. I'm sure we know a few people with that. My doctors have discovered a new illness, verbal diarrhea. The D people can't stop talking about verbal diarrhea spreads fast and can be heard from miles. We'll send them to the pharmacy. We've got plenty of Freddies around. Yeah. Who are you throwing up all over my floor? Carl Fuddle. Great, machine upgrade is complete. Make sure we get a few fire extinguishers dotted around to keep our precious machines safe. Bungle Technologies are grateful for our continued support with their psychiatry patients and they've given us access to one of their machines. The extractor pan. This high-tech gadget is great for removal of unwanted kitchen utensils. Look out for people in need of this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock some more technology. Buying another plot of land nearby will give us more space to develop the hospital. Alright, yeah, so this is the first hospital where we can buy land nearby to expand, expand where we want to. But first, build these new rooms. So we've got a deluxe clinic. This big, scary-looking machine. Get some windows in. And I'll look out for somebody who needs that. So we can watch it in action as soon as somebody turns up. And we still need... we could do with it that's glitched out a bit. I think it's because they've got a costume on. Yeah man it's basically Sims for a hospital. They've all got wacky weird diseases and stuff. So not much we could do with the place a few of my plants, a nice picture of some art perhaps and even clean up the vomit. This person just wants us to make the place more attractive. That we can do. Ah, I spot somebody with a pan on their head. They're gonna need a pan slab soon enough. Yeah, wait until you hear the announcer. There's like a... There's hospital announcements where they make... Please 
inside the hospital grounds. No unauthorised digging. Like that one. And there's a radio announcer as well in between the songs, and you even get adverts. Some of them are really funny. Like the, the announcer for this area is like an uptight, like really snooty posh guy. Stick some drinks machines and stuff down. More bins. Stick some more plants down. Uh, no, that would be one of our janitors. But they did a Halloween update where you can put costumes on people, so I made him into a werewolf. Yeah, you should see. So I've made the assistant to the front desk look like one of the Spice Girls. And what else have we got? We got one of our doctors in like hair metal gear. And we have There we go, that's one of our nurses. You are one of our nurses and you are dressed as a penguin. You even do a penguin walk because you move around. And we also have... Alex. Alex is one of our doctors. And he's 70s tracksuit gear. Guy yet. Let's go for patient to treatment. That's there we go. patient to treatment. Yeah, it's great they've added in for the different costumes, they've even added in different animations for the people walking. Right, they do it for some of the patients. Like all these people who think they're Freddie Mercury like walk like a rock star. Do we have anybody going to the Pam's lab yet? Pharmacy, <laughs> calling nurse. We now bring you this segment, Sir Nigel. Oh, I know what I've not built yet. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment. New illness Bogwart discovered. And what a delight for doctors to discover new illness Bogwarts. The a rather disgusting kin sting condition caused by filthy toilets. Good. It can be cured with an expensive cocktail of drugs carefully prepared in the pharmacy or with witchcraft. Yeah, I'm waiting for one of the patients that needs to go to one of these treatment rooms so I can show you. They've put like, some pretty nice animations for each of the different treatment rooms. I need to build a staff room as well, because we don't have a staff room yet. said that because someone's just done it. I 
think there's another doctor, I think. <laughs> Grumpy tends to rate things, but he's a psychiatrist, so we'll do. Get ourselves another nurse as well. Natural mentor, short temper, inspiring. Dr. Hot Bear, hot air balloon ride, but she kid there. But I think with all these qualifications, yeah, better at treatment, better at diagnostics, better at the ward, it will do. Yeah, there he is telling us off because we've not got enough nurses. We'll get some more. green area is like basically how nice the hospital looks. You pretty want it pretty much want it covering all of it if you can. scanner to make it more effective. Do it. Attention! Urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. Not had any deaths yet. Which I am surprised at to be honest. Usually had a few deaths by now. Especially on this level where they start introducing the weird stuff. Two point radio. Our reporter on the field, Sally Fig Blanket, has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. As to what she was reporting on, I cannot say. Nobody tells me anything. Yeah, that's the radio announcer. I want to know who they got for those voices, they're brilliant. So, oh, Henry Jobsworth, the county's foremost health and safety inspector, has informed us that he'll be visiting for an inspection soon. Mr Jobsworth added that we shouldn't start doing anything differently now, as that would be cheating and we don't have time. He'll be arriving soon and a good report would help our reputation. So we're just going to impress his VIP with a nice hospital and give us extra stuff. And our new, our doctors have discovered a new illness, Portis Head. Portis Head affects both body and mind. Once thought to be caused by proximity to sea air, it's now known to be chiefly caused by living in Portis Head. We'll send the patient for treatment in our ward. Attention, urinating anywhere in the hospital will not be tolerated. And our werewolf wants a promotion. Yeah, he can have it. Local barbershop quartet called the Four Freds wrongly believes they're about to embark on a massive stadium tour. They haven't even arranged for anyone to run their barbershop. Their families are sending them for a treatment for Mockstar. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group. Should we have them sent here? Yeah, let's go for it. Makes 
GP's office high priority. If your life is starting to look a little bleak, don't exercise, eat well, or think about your many, many problems. Can you help me? Just take no illness pandemic discovered. The a doctor has discovered a new illness pandemic. Eye drop. Involuntary attachment to kitchen utensils caused by extremely low levels of culinary skill. Eyes. The pad must See be carefully removed with a massive Make magnet. Everything seem better. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pound lab. More often, this is two point oh, radio. This place. So we'll watch for this person getting fixed. You'll see what I mean about the animations as well in a second manner, they're brilliant. This poor fellow with a pan stuck on his head. Lightheadedness discovered. Our doctors have discovered a new illness, lightheadedness. Lightheaded patients are notable due to their bulbous heads. We'll send the patient for treatment in our dog locks clinic. So I'll show you that one as well in a sec. So this is the deluxe clinic, they're just waiting for a doctor. How you cure, cure it, you just pull off the head and attach a new one. finishing the stream there but I'll pick it up again as a loss as to the whenever I get around to it I'll continue at the same point you may enjoy my popular guide to good just see what I said first a public service I perform job for the sentence report 30 pages long but we've not read it to proper enunciation as well yeah so he's just saying we've got a nice place vocal abilities would make this quite impossible but yeah I will be finishing there today I do believe that Alex will be on later I think he said he's staying sane. Playing Celeste again as well today. So keep an eye out for Eric's stream. He'll be playing Celeste. It's a good game, it's got great music. And I will see you all next time whenever I can 
decide to do it. Bye.